Okay, hi. So, if you're seeing this, you're definitely at the beginning of the video, and I forgot to say some things in my video, so I figured I would say them before the video, just as a little disclaimer slash explanation. So, FKDR is your final kill death ratio. You can just go into the lobby, Bedwars lobby, and find your Bedwars profile NPC, and then just click it, and then go to the top paper, and it shows your uh, overall FKDR and that is what we will be talking about today. If you have less than 1000 deaths, it's pretty easy to raise your FKDR as well if you're not taking that many final deaths. It's okay to take some final deaths, but you know, if you're getting like 50 a day, you know, that's going to be a little bit difficult. But just try to do your best and don't take too many final deaths. But it's okay if you take a couple every once in a while. If you have more than 1,000 final deaths, it's still pretty easy to raise your FKDR. You just need to make sure that you're maintaining a steady flow of finals in the games that you're playing. So if you're playing fours, you don't want to get like zero to one final per game because then your FKDR is going to go up pretty slow. But if you're getting like three to four per game or even two, then you'll probably be fine. So yeah, that's pretty much it for what I have to say uh, before this video starts. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Okay, now you, now, you, now you can go watch the gameplay commentary thing that I put together. Hey, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to my first video. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over some ways you can improve your FTR. And yeah, that's basically it. But before we get into that, I just want to introduce myself because I really like being informed, you know? Okay, there we go. Got our first rush. So yeah, I started playing Bed Wars in 2017, right when uh, it was released. So whenever that was, y'all can do the math. I am definitely not gonna do that. Um, and yeah, so I quit a couple months later just because I didn't find Bed Wars too interesting. And then I started playing again around this May. Uh, that's terrifying. I was not expecting that. We're zooming. Oh, he's he's gapping. Oh, he's gapping. Okay. Uh. Okay. So I started playing again in around March of this year, and I didn't really play for myself. It was more just because my friends played this game, and I was like, okay, it's convenient. And then I started playing more for myself in around May of this year. And I started trying to improve. My game sense was really bad, which is why I kind of want to make this video just to help people who had the same problem as I did. And just give information that helped me get better at the game. I can make another video on game sense, although there isn't really much to that. You just kind of have to play the game. But yeah. So. This video is about how I improved my FKDR. Now, my FKDR is not good by any means. Um, it is quite sad, not gonna lie, but I'm happy with it. Um, it's an improvement from what it was. Where is everyone? Oh my god. It's an improvement from what it was, so I'm just happy that I'm happy with my FKDR. So I'm, I'm not trying to like be like, oh my gosh, guys, my FKDR is amazing. But I'm pretty content with it, and yeah, you should do stuff because you have the right intentions, not, not not for other people. So the first way I improved my FKDR was just to practice strats. Now I didn't do this in the most methodical way. I could have done this in a smoother way, um, and probably gotten a lot more FKDR. But what I would recommend is just practicing duels, practicing strats that work for you. So block clutching, uh, clicking, you know. Uh, CPS isn't really that important, but it is good to have like a solid, I'd say like anywhere after 7 CPS and that's all you really need just to, you know, play the game. Although if you do want to like god bridge and stuff, uh, I can't help you with that. Uh, my CPS is actual trash. Why, sir? Okay, it's fine. We have we have fireball. Yeah, just practice strats that work for you. Um, 
kind of differs uh, per person, but, um, okay, GG. <laughs> Yay. Okay, we're in our second game. So back on the topic of strats and stuff, I could make a video on things that help me because I'm not good at PvP by any means, but Bed Wars is a very well-rounded game, which is what I enjoy about it. And you don't necessarily have to be amazing at PvP to play the game. So just having strats that you know work for you is really something that's gonna improve your gameplay. I gonna cry. So another thing that can help you get better at the game, and this goes without saying, but just consistently play. Now I don't do this anymore, but I've already kinda not built up my skill, but like I I know what works for me, so I don't really need to do this. But in the beginning you're gonna wanna play a lot. But yeah, consistently playing when you first get into Bad Wars is something that really helped me. So another thing is being smart with the games that you decide to queue into. Now there's a lot of ways you can check the players you're playing with, and something that helps me is the level head mod. So you can't really know someone's ability to play the game and their skill level on just their stats, but something you can do is just be smart. If someone looks sweaty, like they have a sweaty name, they have cosmetics on the client you're playing on, stuff like that. Just be mindful of those kind of things. Get known with the cues for typical sweaty people and stuff like that. I know that sounds kind of cliche to stereotype a sweaty person, but it is it is something you can look out for because it's usually pretty easy to tell if someone's going to be sweaty. I just compare their network level with like their username and stuff and yeah you also want to look out for nicknames now a nickname isn't like gonna be like oh uh, you're good or you're bad but um, if someone's nicked it's probably best to avoid that interaction just because you don't really want to take the risk of having a sweaty game now if you know with your gameplay that you can play a sweaty game and be okay with that then that's totally okay. Oh, he's a final? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so intelligent, guys. GG. <laughs> GG's. Okay, so we're in our third game. So one of the last things that I want to talk about is different modes that you play. What is going- What? <laughs> huh? Oh no. Okay, sorry, I clicked out of my game. <laughs> So yeah, different modes that you play. So there's a ton of different modes on Hypixel, and if you play Bad Wars, you know that there's uh, solo, doubles, threes, fours, blah, 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 dreams, stuff like that. So different strats go for different modes. So if you play solo, you're going to have different strats than if you play... Uh, okay. <laughs> if you play solo, you're going to have different strats than if you play fours, blah, blah, blah. This is pretty obvious. But yeah, if you decide to main a mode, which you don't have to do, but usually it's good to get good at a mode and then just play that one, and you can switch it up. But I played fours for a while just because it was easier, because doubles requires more like 1v2ing and stuff like that. But I play mostly uh, doubles now just because I think that it's... Uh, you get more stats from it, and I don't know, I just have this weird thing where I like playing games and I like seeing numbers come out of them so if I have an outcome from a game I just like seeing that now it doesn't necessarily mean that I like to have good stats I don't by any means because I just don't have good stats but I I, I just like seeing the numbers come out of the games if that makes any sense at all maybe it does maybe it doesn't so another thing that ties into the mode that you play is the people you play with. So Bed Wars is a team game unless you're playing solo, but um, if you're playing doubles or threes or fours, you're going to want to make sure that you have a good team because even if you're doing the best that you can do, I'll just <laughs> wait for this guy. Okay, I don't know why I waited. Green team doesn't even exist. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Okay then. 
So yeah, if you have a good team, then you're most likely just going to have good outcomes. And if you put in the work, then y'all can be a team and play the game. Because Bed Wars, unless you're playing solo, like I said, is a team-based game. And if you're doing the best that you can do, and you have a team that's not putting in the effort, then you're not going to see improvement in the games. Because even if you're putting in a lot of effort, it's really hard to like 1v4 and 1v3 and stuff like that. So, yeah. That is why we have good team. What is this man's doing? He really wants to block trap me. Sir. Sir, why do you want to block trap me so bad? Okay, let's just... That would be really sad if my bed got broken. He's in the front. Oh my god. Okay. My bed is gone. Hmm. How about that? How about them? Apples. What am I saying? <laughs> okay, he doesn't have a trap. Too good. Uh, let's just grab some more gaps and then we'll hunt him down and do some good stuff. What? Where? Where's this guy? Your invis, huh? Yup. <laughs> yup. Indeed I was. Um, definitely gonna get fire. Where is he? Holy moly. I don't want to invis until I see where he is, because that would be a bad idea. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I just realized I'm getting such bad frames right now. What? Y'all, I promise I usually get like two to three hundred. What is this? Alright, well, sorry for the bad quality of this uh, video. I'll try and figure out what is making my computer want to die. Um, let's just go grab prod 2, I guess. Oh, we have... Okay, we have prop. It's fine. Alright, let's head to mid. So yeah, that's basically all I have to say about FKDR. I'll probably think of more stuff later, but I'm too tired to think about more stuff. And I think that's the main points I was trying to make. So yeah. Also, the last thing. Make sure that you're just having fun. Because if you're doing all this and you're not having fun, there's really no point to it. I really enjoy Bud Wars as a game, so it's not really hard for me to practice and, you know make improvement but if you don't really love bad wars that much and you just want to play occasionally i wouldn't really stress over your fkdr okay well that happened ggs <laughs> ggs okay so that is the end of this video yeah i want to finish off what i was saying by have fun take all of this and use it to how it helps you um, this, these are just the things that helped me get better at the game, my personal experience. I'm still not really that amazing, but I, I've improved from what I was before. You do not want to see what I was before, trust me. That was not a good look. Okay, so <laughs> thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe because I really want to continue to make more videos. This is my first video. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm really excited to release this video and I hope you guys enjoy it and make sure to leave a like as well because that would be pretty epic. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!